Hey guys, I'm Lizzie Pierce, and today I'm here with Adobe Stock and Epidemic Sound, and I'm sharing with you five video editing tips in Premiere Pro. Now the first time you open up Premiere Pro, it's exciting, you're hopeful, you're full of dreams, ambitious, but it's also terrifying. Now Premiere Pro is a very high-end and detailed editing software, which of course means that the editing possibilities are endless. At the same time, once you first get into the program, it can be really intimidating. There are so many buttons and options and panels, it's hard to know where to begin. So let's just jump right in and get into the editing tips. Tip number one, freeze. Freeze is great if you want to, well, freeze a frame. Usually it's because you want to emphasize a certain moment. So I've got this clip here that I pulled from Adobe stock footage and it's of this guy on a motorcycle doing these crazy flips in the air. So obviously I wanna highlight when he's completely upside down cause that's insane. So all you have to do is move your playhead to the moment that you want to freeze on and then right click. And as you can see, there are a few different options here. There's frame hold options, add frame hold or insert frame hold and segment. Personally, I like to use insert frame hold and segment because it not only freezes the frame, but it also adds its own clip for you right in between the cut. This is what it looks like. Tip number two, crop. So I've opened up a project in Premiere Pro and imported in some of my footage and I've already dragged it into my timeline. And as you can see, I filmed this footage really wide to make sure that I got everything in the frame. But now that I'm looking at it, I could probably crop it in a little bit. I don't need this extra headspace. So let's go to the top left panel and click on effect controls. Make sure your clip is selected as well. And then click the motion drop down. Next to scale, you can click and drag and adjust to whatever crop that you like. Of course, when you scale into the footage, you are losing pixels, but luckily Adobe Premiere Pro handles scaling very elegantly and tends to preserve the quality where possible. So if you're working in a 1080 timeline, for example, with 4K footage, you've got lots of space to crop in. Cropping in is also the first step to a digital zoom effect. So just by adding in a few keyframes here, you can add some movement to your originally static frame. Tip number three. Reverse. Reversing could be for a special effect or maybe you just wanna change the direction of a focus pull. Regardless, it's a super easy change to make. So first, right click on your clip in the timeline. Click on speed duration. And just so you know, here is where you can also adjust the speed of the clip if you want. You can also set the clip to a custom length or you can of course reverse the speed. So click on the box next to reverse speed and that's it, now your clip is reversed. Tip number four, cut. Cutting is the most basic of the basics when it comes to editing, and there are a few different ways that you can cut. So option one is to, of course, use the razor tool. And so you can either click on the razor right over here, or you can hit the keyboard shortcut C. This is what I use the most often. Option two is to use add edit. So the default setting on the keyboard shortcut for add edit is command K. And add edit is honestly my personal favorite because then you don't have to constantly switch between the razor tool and the mouse tool. Add edit's also just one simple click and you can make a cut. Now option three, and this only works in certain scenarios and that's ripple trim. So you wanna watch in the timeline to where you wanna make your cut and then hit the ripple trim shortcut. This will not only make the cut, but it'll snap the rest of your timeline back to the clip before it. I would also like to add that all of these cutting options also apply for audio. So if you got your snazzy epidemic soundtracks through Adobe Stock Audio, which you can access inside Premiere Pro, in your timeline, you can use add edit, the razor tool, or ripple trim as well. Tip number five, transition. So this one's a bit of a bonus if you'd like to get creative. When you click on the effects panel, you'll see an audio transitions drop down menu and a video transitions drop down. 
What you can do then is select the transition you like and drag it onto your timeline between the two clips you'd like to transition between. But if you wanna save time and use a shortcut, this is what I would do. So a well-known transition is cross dissolve. So instead of opening it up in the effects panel, every time I want to add it, all I have to do is select the clips I want to add the transition to and then hit Command D. As you can see, it automatically applies the transition to the clip. Now, if you wanna change which transition is your default, all you have to do is right click on the effect you'd like and click set selected as default transition. If you wanna change the duration of the default transition, click Premiere Pro, Preferences, Timeline, and you can set the duration there. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to check out the other videos on the Creators Lab series.